In the spring of 2019, the International Astronomical Union, also known as the IAU, ran a competition where you, the public, could name five of the recently discovered moons of Jupiter. Specifically, these five moons. Many of you, including yours truly, submitted ideas to the Twitter account Jupiter Lunacy. Great name, wonder where they got it from. As a quick reminder, only certain names related to Roman and Greek mythology could be submitted. Plus, these names had to A, be a consort or descendant of either Zeus or Jupiter, B, end in the letter A or E, C, not be shared with another astronomical body. This was the trickiest part, because there are loads of asteroids named after Zeus-related gods. After several months of debate, the IAU has finally approved their favourite names, two of which belong to the Himalaya group. First off, the tiny moon of S 2018 J1 has been named Ursa. Now, Ursa is the goddess of morning dew and is the daughter of Zeus and Selene, with Selene being the actual goddess of the moon, making Ursa the perfect name. And many of you thought this as well, as there were dozens of submissions for Ursa. However, the IAU wants to give special credit to the first person who suggested the name, Aaron Qua, as well as the students of saint Savar High School in Radon, France, as well as the Grade 5 class of the Hellside Trad Academy from Mission in Canada, but they especially want to give credit to Walter, a pint-sized moon expert who sang a moon song just for the IAU. Now also within the Himalaya group is S2017 J4, which is now going to be called Pandia. Not only is Pandia the sister of Ursa, making her also the daughter of Zeus and Selene, but Pandia is also the goddess of the full moon. As you can imagine, goddess of the full moon is an ideal candidate, and it's no surprise that this was the most suggested name in the whole contest. But the IAU wants to highlight the submission from the Astro Club at Landlivet School. These guys sent in a photo of the club holding up a Pandia sign with their panda mascot in the background. Panda, Pandia, you see why they simply had to submit the name, right? Moving to the moons a little further out from Jupiter, S2003 J5 has been given the name Irene, goddess of peace and the daughter of Zeus and Themis. Over a dozen people suggested the name Irene, the first coming from Quadruple Tensor. An additional kudos goes to this Greek and Roman mythology master in the making. Irene is the furthest out of these five moons and orbits Jupiter at almost 24 million kilometres away. Moving in a little closer, at 22.7 million kilometres is S2003 J15, which from this point on will be known as Philofrozeny. Philofrozeny is one of the younger charities, a spirit of welcome and kindness, who is also the granddaughter of Zeus. Now credit for this suggestion goes to the myth expert and Victoria, but you may be thinking, this name seems awfully familiar. Perhaps this is due to the fact that I suggested this name in the Moons of Jupiter video, which the IAU has considered as a winning submission, meaning that Lunatic has actually helped name a moon of Jupiter. Moving in closer still, to the orbit of 20 million kilometres sits S2003 J3, a two kilometre wide moon now called Euphemy. Like Philofrozeny, Euphemy is also a younger charity. In fact, she's Philofrozeny's sister, granddaughter of Zeus, and is the spirit of good omen, praise, acclaims, shouts of triumph, and applause. And, well, not to brag, but this was my suggestion, meaning that Lunatic has successfully named Two Moons of Jupiter! <clears throat> Sorry about that. While five of Jupiter's moons have been given names, there's still 21 out there that need a title, and no doubt there will be more moons discovered in the years to come. So keep thinking of what you would call a moon of Jupiter.